Hey campers, Georgia, back on the ice. Going out on cedar again. This time I'm going on my own. It's the first time on my own. Do a little solar ice fishing and see what happens. There's a lot of people on the lake right now and I know there's some competition later on this afternoon. But we'll go out and see if I can actually catch fish on my own. Don't hold your breath now. <laughs> Let's go, it's a long trench. Well, I started off over there, I drilled a hole and had a look, kind of shallow. So I moved along here and I met 25 feet there. So I think that's uh, where I'm gonna try for now. It looked like there was fish at about 15, 20 feet, so probably and hopefully cropping. Nabbed one. Look, sunny. Woot! And not a bad one at all. Look at that. Wow. So I just put my line in the water and I got me a sunny. Look at that. Not bad for an amateur. Let's put him back inside. Go down, boy. There you go. First fish, I, uh, ice fishing on my own. I actually caught something. The skunk is off. Woof. I got all set up and you can see the setup there. I set everything up. I've got the heater on about medium. It's really warm today. But I just got the heater on to keep my ice hole from freezing. And kind of windy. But I'm at 25 feet depth and I'm fishing at about 20. That's where they seem to be. So it looks like crappie and sunfish. So, here we go. Yep, crappie. Woo! Nice crappie. Let's put him back in the hole. All very exciting, this. Here you can see, they're all sitting at about between 17 and 20 feet. And they're pretty active. So what? I actually picked the right spot. Aren't I the perfect ice fisherman? Yeah, right. Another one. Something. Crappie again. A little bit smaller. But got him. What? Crappie. Wow. Getting bigger. Look at that guy. There's a nice crappie right there. Coolio. You're a good guy. Thank you. Oh. They're right at 15 feet. I've got to get my bait right there. Every time I get it right, they bite. I'm missing a lot though. <laughs> Some of them are smarter than me. And wow, the ice just cracked right underneath me. What do you do? You keep fishing. Got me my tickle stick from 13. Love this little rod. The tip 
really sensitive. Like the, the crappies can be really soft bites in the sunnies. They're all sitting there, right at about 15 feet, just below. This is all very exciting, look at me. Solo ice fishing for the first time. Kind of liking this. And I just missed a bite. I know I did not got him. See that? He took a good whack at it. It might be a sunny. Nope. Crappie. There you go. Look, you see it. Another one. And he swallowed that hole. Oh, there we go. There he is there. Let's give him a try and see if he goes. Come on, big guy. You can do it. Off you go. Good man. Huh. He survived. Now gotta get untangled. You know, I always used to come ice fishing with Travis. We used to go once a year when I lived in California. I'd come up here and we'd go ice fishing. Ten guys. And it was fun, but I never really got into it. Then I moved up here and Travis, he, he goes a lot. He's been busy this winter though. But he normally goes a lot and I go with him. Learned a lot from him. And watching other guys and figuring it out, talking to people. Kind of got in it, got all the stuff. Travis, of course, gave me this uh, flip over. That saved me a couple of hundred dollars, that's for sure. Bought me a buddy heater. And here I am. It's not a cheap sport. It's on a par with fly fishing. The gear you need, you need a fish finder, ice fish finder, a heater, a flip over or a pop up or something, a rod, and then your jacket and pants probably the most expensive you're going to spend. I think, I think mine cost me about $350, maybe more. I got a deal on it. With Travis, we went to the ice show. We've got some ice armor. It's worth it though, because without it, you're going to get chilly. And then there's the heater. Wasn't too bad. I was lucky. My Lowrance Hook 4, which I bought for my kayak, they had an ice app on it. It's not the best, but I finally figured it out, and now I'm doing a lot better. I was struggling before, and I think that's why I didn't really catch. Now I can see where I am, and learning to figure out the whole ice fishing way of looking at the ice fishing, the, I, the fish finder. But I'm figuring it out, and here we are. It's kind of nice. Travis has a whole setup. You can watch, you'll, he'll watch the football game on the weekends. Watch TV, listen to podcasts. I, I, I can't do that. I have to concentrate. Oh, Lord, you. What do you do? You just keep at it. Ah, missed him that time. I better check my bait because I've been nibbling at it. I could feel it. Ah, we good. Put it back down. You can actually see the bait drop. You can follow it down. And there right now I'm at about 12, 13, 14, 15 right there. I'm actually at almost 27 feet here. But they're all, they're suspended. They're right between 20 and, I'm going to say 13. They're pretty spread out, but they just sitting there, suspended. That's the crappie and the sunny. All them perch are on the bottom. I can see them on the bottom there. Those little perch that I kept catching. I knew that was going to happen. My heater ran out of gas. Fortunately, it's not too cold today and it's nice and sunny. So I'm going to stick around for a while until it gets too cold. If I start to get cold, I'll pack up and head back. I think I've got a one one pound oh I do I have a one pound gas can maybe I'll hook that up if it gets cold and use that I've been using wax worms and they've been doing okay 
but I'm going to try a minnow. See if we can get a bigger crop here. Maybe that'll work. Got to give it a try. I bought him. Might as well use him. I think I'm going to try a minnow. I changed back to uh, wax worms and caught right away. The minnow didn't work. Oh, I just got him. Look at that. Nice one. Off you go, buddy. And I hooked myself. Yep, yeah, got another one. Sunny. Whoa. Big Sunny. I can't get him out. Look at that guy. Wow. Look at this guy. Nice. Off you go, big guy. Yeah, yeah, you go. Catch you later when you're bigger. <laughs> They're eating all my worms. Yeah. Got another one. Look at that. Another sunny. Wow. I don't know. That's like four or five sunnies. Nice ones as well. Oops. See in there? That's a nice one. Oops. And off he goes. Oh, well. It was a good one. They're starting to bite the sunnies now. Got another one. Oh, another sunny. Look at that. Pulling these sunnies out. See that? Wow. They're hungry. They're taking them hard. Look at that. I think they're just below the crappie, I think. I need to go higher if I want to catch crappie. I suppose I better put a worm on. <laughs> Man. They're going through my worms. I just put my bait down and they hit it again. I can't believe this. Who am I to complain? It's not like I catch a lot of fish. Having a good time, by the way. They're definitely there. And they have, like, come right up to the top here. They're at, like, 10 feet. Yep, got him. Right where I thought they'd be. Come on, big Oh, another sunny. And a good one. Look at that one. Wow! Look at that guy. Look at that guy. What a beauty. Oh, and off he goes. Man, that was a good one. Dropped him right in the hole. <laughs> Should have taken a picture of him. Oh well, what do you do? You put another wax worm on, I'm running out of them. Another one. Probably a sunny. Yep. A little smaller, but hey, it's a sunny. <laughs> See that? Nice sunnies today. Yep. Got another one. Oh. Good one. Another good sunny. Look at that. Wow. Look at that guy. That's a beauty. You see that? Not bad, huh? Good looking guy. I think these people are all here for the competition. A bunch of them. Wow. Can't believe that dude's pulling a skier with his horse. Well, it's getting really crowded out here. I think that uh, they're having some sort of uh, competition or something out here today. I think everybody's arrived. It's getting really crowded out here and things have slowed down. A lot of vehicles and everything. So my feet are starting to get cold. I didn't use the one pound uh, gas can. I want to keep that when I need it. I don't really need it now. And uh, it's cooling down. I can feel my feet starting to get cold. So I think I'm going to pack up and head on home. A good day on the ice. First time on my own. I'm pretty happy about it. You guys, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again soon. I know Travis wants to go ice fishing. He's been... Uh, a little busy this winter and uh, things going on and whatever and he hasn't been able to get out 
uh, he is hoping to go out tomorrow. I might go out with him. Who knows? If so, pretty sure there'll be a video. Just say, thanks for watching. And you will be safe out there. See you again soon. Bye.